you've been tuning in to Trinity's regular digital offerings, then this morning's assigned gospel reading should sound familiar. It's the same passage we read just last Sunday, the one about Gabriel announcing to Mary that she is pregnant, and in about nine months or so, will give birth to the world's salvation. There's a whole lot to say about this passage and about this interaction between Mary and Gabriel, but this morning I want to focus on just one thing that the angel says. He says, fear not. Fear not is almost always the first thing that angels say when delivering messages from on high to people. And usually, the people who receive these angelic messages have a whole lot to fear. It's kind of like when someone starts a conversation by saying, Now, don't freak out. When that happens, there's a pretty good chance that what you are about to hear is almost certain to freak you out. When Gabriel makes his announcement to Mary, she had everything to fear. The fear of being shamed the fear of being rejected, the fear of being called a host of ugly names and given more than a few unsavory labels, all because of a pregnancy that preceded marriage. And on top of that, Mary is told that the baby she will bring into the world will be hailed as king, which means that he's going to get in trouble with the law. He's going to be accused of treason and sedition, because ain't nobody king but Caesar. Mary had every reason to be afraid, but the angel says, fear not anyways. And just to be clear, I don't think fear not in this context means not to feel or experience the emotion we call fear. There's nothing wrong with feeling afraid. As the theologian Stanley Hauerwas once said, The courageous experience fears that cowards will never know. The problem happens when fear overcomes us, guides us, and keeps us from doing that which we know is good, right, and just. In other words, it's when we let fear interfere with love that we have a problem. I believe Gabriel was inviting Mary not to let her fear get the best of her, not to let fear keep her from aligning herself with God's plan of salvation and using her imagination to envision a world turned right side up. A world where a little baby has the power to bring salvation to all.